The reconfiguration of post-industrial landscapes, characterized by empty, redundant, and underused buildings, poses a significant challenge for contemporary urban zones. These areas, remnants of a vibrant industrial age with small-scale factories, now feature empty and decaying buildings. These towns and buildings dotted all over Britain now serve as mute testimonies to the shift in economic paradigms. Furthermore, changes in retail habits and the widely discussed decline of the high street have intensified this urban crisis. In its wake is a trail of strip malls, chain stores, empty storefronts and vacant upper stories. Yet these empty spaces offer unparalleled prospects for urban rejuvenation and creative ingenuity. The key to unlocking their potential lies in re-envisioning these sites to meet the demands and expectations of the 21st century. Adopting small-scale industries and micro-production emerges as a viable path forward. Unlike the extensive facilities of current industry, these modern ventures demand minimal space and exhibit greater flexibility in responding to market fluctuations. They offer high-value products, untaps local beneficiation, and presents a resilient model for economic development that harmonizes with contemporary urban life and concepts like the 15-minute city. In addition, urban horticulture presents itself as an innovative remedy. The practice of vertical gardening, in particular, promises the potential to repurpose these idle spaces into productive farmlands or parks. By exploiting the vertical space of unused buildings and disused infrastructure to cultivate high-value and high-yield crops, or to create verdant new green spaces, it offers an innovative solution to sustainable urban landscapes. A similar approach can be used to create pocket parks in spaces left over after planning. This approach is not just spatially efficient but also diminishes the environmental impact traditionally associated with the transport of food or access to open green space. Urban aquaculture, likewise, is well suited to adaptation within post-industrial contexts. This practice can transcend traditional perceptions tied to fish farms by focusing on the breeding of high-value or endangered species. It entails the cultivation of aquatic life within the confines of urban areas, frequently utilizing the existing water systems without the need to exploit natural waterways. This approach not only enhances local production, but also offers educational and recreational opportunities to the community, thereby contributing significantly to urban sustainability and biodiversity conservation in an innovative way. The adaptive reuse of these vacant spaces yields numerous advantages. It stimulates local economies, generates employment, protects our cultural heritage, and nurtures community initiatives. By adopting such inventive strategies, cities can transform their post-industrial voids into lively, productive, and sustainable environments. In essence, the deserted structures and spaces that dot post-industrial landscapes need not be consigned to history. They do not all need to be turned into community centers, student housing, or depend on expensive bailouts for their conservation. Rather, they hold the potential to be economically viable and serve as the foundation for sustainable urban progress. Through initiatives like small-scale industry, microproduction, horticulture, and urban aquaculture, these areas can evolve into vibrant centers of innovation and communal activity. Thank you for exploring the transformation of urban space with aquabioculture. We're committed to sustainable aquaculture in underused areas, enhancing urban redevelopment and aquatic ecosystems. For more on our initiatives or to join our efforts, please contact us. Your support is vital in revitalizing these spaces for a sustainable future. Thank you for your commitment to environmental stewardship.